Roll call. Please. Council Field? Present. Present. Council Jacutis? Present. Present. Council, uh, Mr. Donovan? Present. I just promoted you. Uh, Ms. Nerick? Present. Present. Mr. Stillian? Present. present. Attorney Lamana? Present. Present. Okay, these are all voting members that are present. And then there yes. are other um, co committee members, trade right, committee members uh, that make up different organization so everybody's been invited from the letter committee here I know uh, school committee member Nicholson uh, his train was delayed coming out of Boston today so he'll be a little bit delayed for our for our meeting um, what we have presented are all 20 uh, winners from the 20 participating schools 18 public two private in the city for our second grade Keeplin clean poster contest all 20 of these posters are going to go into production for posters, actual life size, po full size posters rather, um, hopefully printed by our graphics department at Lintech um, or a printing company. But these will be displayed, probably about a hundred of each of these will be displayed throughout the city and businesses, that's our hope, beginning this summer, encouraging people to keep our city clean. Um, I think we can, you know, certainly acknowledge that there's some talent here in our schools. I think um, back on Earth Day when we kicked off the contest it, citywide with all second graders, with a, it was a count, city councilors, the mayor, superintendent, the school committee members, everybody enjoyed themselves. And I think the overall message to educate our kids that we talked about in our prior meetings in the Litter Committee, uh, that message has been getting into our schools where we hoped it to be. So that was part of the uh, was part of the idea. So certainly some artistic kids and they really get it. So hopefully they can teach the rest of the, the, the residents of the city, the older kids, people just visiting our city that we need to keep our city clean. Um, earlier tonight we recognized uh, Juan Gonzalez and his whole team of um, volunteers that have taken a challenge and have been participating in cleanups throughout the city. Um, on their, on their own time and a lot of the time on their own dollar too. Um, the city's been there to support them. Uh, Ms. Nerick from the DPW, certainly supporting many of the organizations in the city um, for cleanup. So if anybody in the city uh, wants to participate in any park cleanup, please reach out to your ward counselor so that they are aware. And also reach out to the DPW and see what resources are available. Um, you know, the budget is restrictive. Um, Right now, as far as you know, going above and beyond, but there are supplies available, there are tools available, and, and with the right efforts um, and the right communication, we, we can certainly help make a difference in the city. I know we discussed in the past um, different areas of the city that we want to focus on for those cleanups, um, kind of hot spots within the city. I know next council meeting, if I'm correct, we have licensing for a number of those um, businesses that have are coming before the council for extended hours. <clears throat> so reach out to Councilor Shakutis or myself over the next couple of weeks. These are, this is usually that once in a year, an annual opportunity to have them come before the council, discuss what concerns we have, not necessarily the business being responsible for all the litter, throughout the city, but certainly the patrons are. Now we can better try to support those businesses. Now those businesses have a responsibility to the city as well. Um, and whether that's limiting their hours, um, if, they, you know, if, if they're not making that effort to, to, to help the city um, clean up after their patrons, um, I think I, I've noticed an improvement citywide as far as that message getting out. So I think we're doing a good job with the Litter Committee. Pleasure, Curtis. Do you have anything you want to add? Um, yeah, we reach out to the different businesses, but what we do to one business goes to all businesses. We're not going right. to just basically pick out 24 hour businesses, it's either all or none. Yeah, we can't make them accountable for all the trash when it's not just their business. Yeah. But I have nothing to add. Anyone else want to add any ideas or suggestions that we should be doing on the litter committee? Eric, anything you've noticed over the, I think you're handling I mean, everything Watson more first hand. It's been a great asset to the, to the city, to our department, helping on cleanups and streets and city parks and 
um, just this past weekend with the holiday we had a lot of pack issues with trash and so um, reached out to him he's going to get a crew over there plus we have uh, community service and the trial courts over there helping yep. us out as well so uh, we need a lot of volunteers so and we all have to take part in this not just city government but as a whole for the city to keep our city clean I think this is a perfect example showing um, the work that the students did through the second grade in public school. Yep. They did a great job. Great. There was a lot of great posters. Yeah. Mr. Rassi, anything from the mayor's office? Present. Anything for the said? No. Yeah, Jared. Jared, uh, school committee member Nicholson has joined us. He's part of the uh, letter subcommittee. Jared, we, we voted. Uh, we some of us voted for three. Some of us voted for one. Some of us voted for two. Um, and the overall winner will be announced tonight at our eight o'clock meeting. So. If you want to, if you are watching on on uh, Lynn Community Television tonight at our eight o'clock full council meeting during our, we have to wait till eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have to count the votes. <laughs> Nothing's going to be done right here. <laughs> the votes have to be counted at eight. Yeah, you know, it's the, the voting is open until eight. The polls are open. So uh, <laughs> school committee Nicholson, mem uh, attorney Nicholson, is yeah. is here to vote. i will offer it to our colleagues on the city council and anyone else that also participated but uh, I think it's a start and I think and again in our beginning meetings when we went around and discussed what you know what the biggest um, concern was was just getting into the schools so I certainly thank uh, Dr. Tutwiler for welcoming this um, with open arms and I hope this is just a first of an annual Earth Day event for all second graders uh, I, I, you certainly notice the uh, the fire alarm poster is up on the billboards already, and I think that makes a difference. So hopefully this will be a start to uh, to kind of replicate what they're doing. You know, to work with, do something that works. So we don't have to recreate the world. <coughs> but uh, Attorney Nicholson, would you like to share any? Uh... Sure. Uh, first, I want to say apologies uh, that I was late. <laughs> uh, the MTA canceled the train I was taking. <laughs> As you can tell, I was pretty here from the <laughs> Um, but I just want to echo what Councilor Field said. This has been a pleasure to be involved with and really appreciate the work that was done by the council, uh, by the, the departments of City Hall, by everyone in the school department uh, to, to make this day a huge success. And uh, it, was a, it was a pleasure to take part in it. I know my colleagues in the school committee really enjoyed participating. And uh, most of all, thanks to the kids who, uh, who participated. These posters are amazing. And uh, I'm very excited to see what they, they put together. So. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney Nichols. Yeah, certainly. So as of right now, we still we are able to still solicit donors. Um, so with a $500 donation, I think that's the figured amount because that's what waste management made that donation early on. Um, they were the first. We'll accept more. They'll be listed on each poster. Um, so I think maybe we'll give until um, another 10 days or so. Mm -hmm. um, so if there are any other organizations or businesses or groups that would like to sponsor these posters and go above and beyond, if they want it with a $500 donation, your organization or business will be listed just like waste managements are on these posters here on the, uh, on the final printouts. So there'll be over 2,000 posters citywide with your logo on it. So with that, does anybody else have any? No concerns? Okay, we'll probably meet sometime. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Right. All in favor? Aye. Right. Thank you. Council Walsh? Present. Present. Council Losey absent. Council Chakutas? Present. 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 Okay, the first uh, hearing is a grant of location, National Grid to install one joint old pole on Estee Street. 
beginning at a point approximately 215 feet northeasterly of the center line of the intersection of Broad Street and ST Street and continuing approximately 140 feet in a southwesterly direction. This is top of the hearing, so. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. National Grid. All right. How are you? Hello, how are you doing? Good. Okay. Um, we've been going on for a very long time. Um, we try to service customers a lot of different ways, and because of the load that they have, the only thing we really do is extend uh, three phase primary down Jesse Street. And we did set a pole, and uh, something happened, and the customer was, uh, didn't like it, so we met. Uh, Council Losey up there. Uh, uh, we think about moving the across the street. So, okay. Uh, the the okay. All right. So, well, this is an agreed upon location? It is. And that is a petition. Yes, that's a petition. Okay. All right. So, you're okay with it, Council yeah. Colucci? Yeah. Right. Hey, John. I remember John's name. Yep. Colucci, not Losey. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> All right. Okay. Any, any questions? I don't if I'm no, Okay, so it's yeah. a public hearing. So does anybody yeah. want to speak on the issue? In favor. Ball in favor? In favor. Do you favor want to speak in oh, favor? I, I, can, I can barely hear. Do you want to speak in favor of the move? Moving yes. It? Okay, you want to step up and you can give us your address and who you are, please? Yes. Yeah, so um, I am the owner of 60 Estes Street and in Lincoln, Massachusetts. Okay, what, what is your name? Dharma Cortez. Okay. And we're Lola Vega, we're the owners of um, one of the condos. Um, and um, we actually um, complain about um, the location of the pole mm -hmm. that, as, it, as it stands now. And um, we are just bringing here some photos of how the um, street look without the pole and how uh, the, street, the, the street looks with the pole in front of our bedroom um, window uh, is, is um, very disturbing. And so, so this is the pole and this is oh, the bedroom. So when you're going to move it across yes, the street. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so we're here in favor of the location. In favor of the location. Okay. okay. All right. And we're showing why we want okay. it to be. Okay. All right. <laughs> and, and, so the council is comfortable with it. Oh, good. Yes. You guys are comfortable with the new location of the poll. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Any anybody else in favor of the location? We're in, we're in favor. Okay. Can we have your name and your address, just so we have the record? In favor of the move. Okay. What's your name and your address for the record? Bond. Okay. Fifty-seven. Okay. You got it. Okay. And uh, I'm there for Burger mm -hmm. Treasy, 19 Broad, right on the corner of Exit. Okay. Yeah, okay, you're in favor of the poll location. Okay. All right, good. So for the record. All right. All right. Anybody in opposition? Anybody in opposition? Anybody in opposition? <laughs> All right. So that that part of the hearing is closed. What's the wish of the committee? Motion to approve. The motion second. to approve. We have a second. Any other discussion? Okay. All right. We're all set. We're good to go. Is right. that including the second portion of this? <coughs> I don't know. The second two separate. Two separate. There was okay. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. Don't go. Don't go far, Mr. Okay. Okay. But I think hang, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have okay. a grant to location for National Grid to install one joint old wooden pole with an anchor 140 feet from the existing pole number 9 on ST Street. The new location will be in front of 23 Broad Street in the lot. At ST's and Broad Street to feed a new service at 26 Broad Street. Okay. Actually, no, as a we don't actually own customer owns it. Mm -hmm. okay. Because it's not going to be manholes. It's just going from 26 Broad Street to the new pole location. Okay. So it's all customer owned. So the fact is it's going into public property, so that's why we have to petition with that. Okay. So and we don't own it. Okay. The only thing we own is we just gotta tie them up with the pole. Right. That's it. Any so, but the pole still be able to include Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. Any, any input, Mr. Colucci? So, no, no, it's the same thing, right? Okay. Motion to right, So we need to put the public hearing, right? So we have to make sure that mm -hmm. anybody wants to speak in favor of that? Anybody wants to wish to speak in favor? Anybody want to wish to speak in favor? Part of the hearing is closed. Anybody in opposition? Anybody in opposition? <coughs> anybody in opposition? 
That part of the hearing is closed. What's the wish of the committee? Motion to approve. Second approve. We have a second. All in favor? Opposed? All right. We're good to go. Thank you very much. All right. So, is there any, any new business? No new business. No new business. We have a motion to uh, remember that guy if we uh, we tabled it on the hot street. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's all good. They're going to pave the part where we wanted to. So can we just uh, do? I take we take it back off the table. Yeah. I think that was tabled, right? So that was uh, right in front of the old boys and girls right. club. Right. Yeah. I believe. Can right. we take that off the table? Yeah. Um, and what number is that? I'm sorry. It's right in front of ten uh, on the hot. Ten the hot street. Right. The hot or the hot and broad. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. That's not coming in, right? So we can just. Uh, it was tabled last meeting. It was tabled. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so any, two. So we can do. Take it off the table. Take it off the table. Yeah. Motion, motion up table. To take it second. Off the table. All in favor? Okay. And uh, any discussion on it? Stipulations? Just the they agreed to pave that part of the street that we talked about. Okay. So there's a section of the street wider than what right. they originally wanted. So, right. so they've agreed to that. Right. So we have a motion to approve with the stipulations. Standard, steps. standard stipulations, but also the width of the street that needs to be paved right. that Mr. Colucci is speaking of. Okay. okay. All right. So it's been approved. All right. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. All right. Thank you. Present. Present. Council Field, absent. Council LaPierre, absent. Council Chacutis. Present. Present. Councilor Walsh. Present. Present. We have a count, uh, constable reappointment, Kenneth Grady, 271 Walnut Street. Come on up. Um, everybody had a chance to review this. Uh, motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made, second and roll call. Council Barton. Yes. Yes. Council Field, absent. Council Lapierre, absent. Council Chikudis. Yes. Yes. Council Walsh. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're all set. Thank you. So you have to go with Ada. He's done, right? Yeah. Doesn't have to come to me. No. Right? no. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Second item is um, recommendation that the Lynn City Council be requested to set down a public hearing relative to a burnt, dilapidated, or dangerous building or other structure located at 50 Trevitt Avenue, and after hearing, may make record uh, order judging it to be a nuisance to the neighborhood. Or dangerous and prescribing it to disposition, alteration, or regulation. All is authorized by Mass General Law, Chapter 139, Section 1. I guess I asked Council Rosie that um, everything's ripped out inside, mm -hmm. it's bank owned, they're not doing anything to maintain on the property. Okay. Are your motion to uh, set down the public hearing uh, the demolition of 50 Trevor Avenue? Second. Motion made. Second. Roll call. Council Barton. Yes. Yes. Council Field absent. Council LaPierre absent. Council Chikudis. Yes. Yes. Council Walsh. Yes. Yes. We had a shame. It's a nice appearance. Anything else on your That's it. No new business. No other business. Motion to adjourn. Second. I'm just going to this right here. Present. 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 Council Barton. Present. Present. Council Chikudis. Present. Present. Council Sear. Present. Present. Okay. Let's start reading them. Yeah. Okay. Transfer the sum of four thousand six hundred and thirty dollars and forty cents from the account of reserve expense to the account of collector expense to fund newspaper advertising for the delinquent real estate tax bills and shortfall on lockbox fees due to the need to use for trash collection process. Motion approved. Sir. Motion passed. Copies. Hello, copies. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Stabbett? Yes. Yes. Council Barton? Yes. Yes. Council Chikudis? Yes. Yes. Council Sia? Yes. Transfer the sum of $4,527 from the account of reserve expense to the account of purchasing payroll to fund purchasing payroll amounts due to paying out of grade increase and hiring of employees who are eligible to receive longevity payments according to labor agreements. No copies. Oh, no. sorry. Second. Roll copies. Council Nett? <laughs> Yes. 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 Council Stabbett. Yes. Yes. Council Barton. Yes. Yes. Council Chikudis. Yes. Yes. Council Sear. Yes. Transfer the sum of $16,950 from the account of assessor expense to the account of excessive payroll to fund shortfall in the payroll due to spending salary lines that was budgeted in expense. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Council Nett. Yes. Yes. Council Stabbett. Yes. Yes. Council Barton. Yes. Yes. Council Chikudis. Yes. Yes. Council Sear. Yes. Yes. 
Transfer the sum of 5000 from the account of CFO payroll to the account of CFO expense to fund professional services expense. Motion to approve. Second. Good old call. Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council Stavitt? Yes. Yes, Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Chikudis? Yes. Yes, Council Sear? Yes. Transfer the sum of $653 from the account of comptroller expense to the account of comptroller payroll to fund the shortfall in payroll due to staff entitled to upgrade pay while the department head was out. Second. <clears throat> Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council Stavitt? Yes. Yes, Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Chikudis? Yes. Yes, Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Transfer the sum of $441.12 from the account of clerk expense to the account of prior year unpaid bills to fund unexpected expense, the item legal, legal ads, from June FY18. Motion approved. Roll call, please. Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council Stavitt? Yes. Yes, Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Chikudis? Yes. Yes, Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Ordered that the City Comptroller B and is hereby authorized to take the following actions. Certifies available fund the amount of $1,497,035 as allotted to the City of Lynn for the DPW by Transportation Bond Bill Chapter 90 for FY20. Second. Roll call, please. Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council Stavitt? Yes. Yes, Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Chikudis? Yes. Yes, Council Sear? Yes. Certifies available fund the additional amount of thirty thousand is allotted to the City of Lynn Police Department by the Executive Office of Health and Human Services to fund a grant initiative for the FY19 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant. Motion. Second. Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council Stavid? Yes. Yes, Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Chikudis? Yes. Yes, Council Sear. Yes. Certifies available fund the amount of fifteen thousand is allotted to the City of Lynn DPW by the DCR for the maintenance and removal of invasive pond vegetation and bodies of water located in and maintained by the City of Lynn. Motion approved. Roll call. Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council Stavitt? Yes. Yes, Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Chikudis? Yes. Yes, Council Sear? Yes. Do have all emergency? Motion of emergency. Second. Roll call. Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council Stavitt? Yes. Yes, Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Chikudis? Yes. Yes, Council Sear? Yes. Good job. Second. Good job. All right. Good job.